to find my initial position of 0900, I had to take the per standard compass headings I was given and do the proper corrections of adding 5 degrees or subtracting 5 degrees west and then adding 11 degrees east to find my true heading. I then took each true heading and found each position, each found each point and used those bearings to find my initial position, making this my coordinates of that position. To find my course to steer, I had to take a one nautical mile range of the R8A buoy, drew a course from 0900 to the RA8 range of one nautical mile, and drew that DR track line. For question number five for my running fix, I took a 312 uh, bearing and then a 331 bearing. And using the DR line that I already had, I found that the distance I would have traveled along the DR line would have been 1.5 nautical miles. I then marked that on my track line and then I took my 312 uh, bearing, moved it to that um, 1.5 nautical mile and found where the 312 bearing crossed over the 331 bearing and where those two bearings would meet is where my uh, position would be. For question number seven, uh, I took the range of cornfield point to be 3.8 nautical miles and drew a range and then a range of 5.4 nautical miles from Medford Point drew that range and found where they crossed taking the position from where it crossed to the and to Medford Point and I found that heading to be exactly 116 degrees true to make sure that that point that that is my exact position the heading is exactly what was written for Question number 12, define my visibility. I found the nominal range in the light list to be 14 nautical miles for Horton's Point. I then found the luminous range by taking that 14 nautical miles and bringing it up to just beneath the 5.5 visibility range because our visibility was 5 nautical miles. And bringing that over, I had found the range of the light to be nine nautical miles. I then went from Horton's Point and drew a nine nautical mile range and found where it crossed my track line. I then measured the distance between my position at the time to that uh, range, found the distance to be, oh, where am I? The distance to be 3.4 nautical miles along my track line and then divided that by the speed times 60 and it would be a 17 minute difference and adding 17 minutes from my initial point here I would reach that range at 1037. For question number 14 to find my set and drift I took the GPS position, found the 1050 um, position along my track line, my, uh, my DR line, by, it would be the 12, 12 knots I was traveling times 60 minutes over, uh, 30 minutes over 60, gave me that 1050 position there, six nautical miles away. I took those two positions, drew a line through them, found that that line gives me a heading of 
uh, 0, 0. Uh, 0, 0, 0.003 degrees true, and then I took the distance of that of the two positions that found that distance to be 0.7 nautical miles multiplied by 60 over the 30 minutes that I was traveling, and got the speed of the drift to be 1.4 knots. And for question number five, to find the um, gyro error, I found the heading of inside the channel to be the true heading being 334 degrees true, and then my per gyro compass heading would be 336. Taking those headings, I found since you would be adding east, the difference would be 2 degrees west, subtracting 2.